Good, beautiful afternoon, YouTube viewers, as well as Facebook Nation. Good morning to everyone right now. This is like actually really, really good because it's a beautiful day and I got a nice shot. What's behind me is actually really beautiful. And this is like something I had to step into and it's in reference to the people who lost their lives, the, the children, as well as the adults who, who lost their lives in, in Texas. My condolences, as well as anyone who comes in and steps on my channel. We have, oh my goodness, I don't have you in. Ooh. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. A beautiful shot that we got right here because this is like a beautiful place to me. So to me, this is my heaven on earth. So I'm close to it. My condolences go out to the people in Texas. It's the, the, the children as well as the adults who lost their lives in a senseless, uh, senseless act. And I've been posing that question. What is causing 18 year olds to wake up and to do something like this. And it has to do with us adults. And we have to have this dialogue that we have to begin to look at ourselves because I have children and I'm thankful that my children have, you know, my education, my DNA runs through them. So they know, you know what I'm saying, to question everything, question every and anything. So I'm happy that my gene runs through my children because it, it, whether I'm there or not there, it protects them. Um, so my condolences go out to the senseless act that was carried out by uh, the person, terrorist, who carried out this senseless act. So my condolences to all of the people of Texas, as well as all the people around the world, because as I mentioned in prior videos, these things were to come. You know, we've been reading them. We just don't want to believe that they exist. So today's topic is go cry it out because you're special. However, only you here. Only you hear that. And we've been put into these boxes that has secluded us so much from one another that we're in these boxes that we can't see the person that stands outside of us, whether it's our significant other or whether it's our children. And the same thing goes vice versa in what we just realized and what we just seen. So we have to realize that these are patterns. When you take away the right for people to raise their children and you put people on a gerbil wheel because of a narrative that others are spinning, we're all guilty because we're all on that Ferris wheel that is so going so fast, it just won't stop. And we can't get off. And we, we lose children. We lose teenagers. Even all these kids that have done these things, I don't blame them. I don't blame them as in, in a sense of fault. I blame them in a sense that we're not looking and we're not asking the right questions. We're not asking the right questions. And when we fail to real, realize that we're not asking the right questions, then someone else is writing our narrative. Someone else is dictating your thoughts. Someone else is dictating your beliefs. Someone else is telling you what you should eat. When we, the, the pandemic is actually a food pandemic because people in all over the world right now are fighting and going to war over food, over food. So if we don't stop to, to look at ourselves, if we don't stop to understand what's, what's taking place in this world, then we have no role to play in this world. And everyone on this earth has a purpose. And I wanna take this one step further. Why is life the illusion that keeps giving? The reason that life is the illusion that keeps giving is because the box that you're in, you're only in control of that box. And you're not even in control of that because every matrix has its own box and every person is its own matrix. So there's matrix that clash with your box and these are the ones that figure you out in like 2.2 2 .2 seconds. And everything is turned upside down so no longer do you go with your normal routine because you were in a position, and I'm talking about people, humans, that you were in a position to manipulate everything around you. But when someone steps into that arena and they're far different, you have to change everything. And that's what tells you that you've hit a wall, that you're living inside this box. And it's the same box that this 18 year old was living in because of the way he carried things out. And it ties in with an earlier video that I did prior 
where I said that uh, people talk about these things before they do them. They don't just wake up in the morning and say, hey, uh, this is what I'm going to do. No, they don't do it. They wake up and then they plot it out. They see how other people feel. They see how the media feels. They see how politicians feel. And they all feed into this ego. And all you, the stats that have caused these things are wrong. Because when they leave these manifestos, oh, they're populating. No, Asians are the ones who are populating. So let's wake up and read. Read, R-E-A-D, read, read, and know where we are. And I, I hate to get emotional on this, but it was another person that came up to me today. And that was the first time in, I'd say, maybe three years that a person did that. Someone did that uh, three years ago. And like I say, all those people are special. But like I said, we live in a world where these matrix are played, so we all have these perceptions of how things are supposed to be. Instead of understanding that there's people out here who agree with you, all of you, there's people who agree with you. But unless we allow ourselves to have these dialogues where we can talk and we can speak, we've lost. We've lost in, in, in a major way. And I want to go one step further. I want to leave you with a story, and this is about Europeans. So, you know, for me to be here and in Western civilization, this is where my avatar is. I know who I am. Now, I'm here, but I know I'm here for this purpose. So, you know, I know that people, what we experience, because there's all people throughout the world, and they're all different races, but you have to remember, we're one species amongst many species on this earth, and most of them are not hominid. And this is what we have to wake up to, because all these things tie into one another. So I want to uh, uh, our rest in peace, this is what we call them, excuse the term, but this is what we call them. I know him as, and I know he loved me like a brother. His name is White Boy Rich. Now, White Boy Rich, um, he grew up in, in Waterbury, so he, well, which is a hard town from me when we were kids growing up. It was one of the hardest towns in our state. But one thing that he did, he was always around ever since he was a baby. So these things aren't to say that people, um, just because of your skin, you have privilege. No, there are three, maybe four people, maybe five people I can mention that have used their privilege to save me in situations. So I want to get back to White Boy Rich. Now, White Boy Rich grew up in, you know, the hood. And his family were pizza makers. They're, they're Albanian. Albanian. And I, that's another day. But um, Albanian, so he has a family, they make pizzas. So he always grew up in the hood. But ever since then, I mean, throughout his life until he passed, and he took me under his wing. So a lot of my business savvy, a lot of the things that I know, they came from him. And these are secrets that you just don't go and tell people. But this tells you that he was something that was only here for a moment, but I knew him infinitely. And when he came to me and what role that they, they played in my life, as well as the people that have come in my life, there was a reason for it because this is the proving ground. This is Denzel Washington. This is training day. So we're here to learn a lesson. But most people are caught up and they're moving so fast in this matrix. They haven't even had the time to love or even understand what love was. And it's crazy because I love me. And that's not in a narcissistic way. I love life. I love everything that I experience. But I would love to have someone I experience that with. But because we're in this matrix and because people are on those durable wheels, most people will never get off. So I look infinitely that I've been here before and I've been here after as well as the people who, you know, speak pretty much the same thing based on the same evidence that has been proven throughout history. Yet most people won't open that door because it exposes the matrix and the box that they're in. So condolences once more for the people of Texas. And like I say, I love all of humanity and I have nothing but love for humanity. But we're, we're uh, asking the wrong question. So the name of the topic, go cry it out because you're special. However, only you hear. Hopefully people hear and try to create dialogue. We need to talk to one another. And we'll be surprised to find out how much we go through the same things. And I'm, I apologize for the length of this, but with all these mass murders and things that are happening right now, I have to speak, and I will speak. So with that, everyone, men, women, children, no matter where you are on the face of this earth, may you have the most beautiful day, may you have an awesome day. And with that, everyone, peace and blessings.